This is the second song you've put me in. I know. <laughs> I'm obsessed with you. You don't have to let everyone know they, on well, national you're TV. You're letting them know because you can, the name of the song, I can't say the name of the song and the other one because it's a date. No, it's joke. not, that's not, no, it's spelled C-O-M-E. It's not a curse, come on a cone. Ellen is not what she looks like. Many celebrities have come out and exposed Ellen for some of the terrible things that she has done and still does. Be sure to watch the entire video because you don't want to miss celebrities that tried to warn us about Ellen. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card. Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. Caitlyn Jenner Most people have heard about Caitlyn Jenner's interview that happened on Ellen. If you haven't, let's just say that Caitlyn Jenner was giving Ellen some attitude. And honestly, Ellen probably deserved it. The Caitlyn Jenner incident is probably one of the most famous interviews that Ellen ever did. Caitlyn Jenner honestly had no idea what questions Ellen was going to ask her, so things got pretty heated when some of the questions shocked Caitlyn. Many would point out it was Bruce Jenner's choice to have the million dollar operation to become Caitlyn, but some question the media praised that it got, such as she was given the symbol of courage during an award show. But it wasn't her transformation that bugged Ellen, rather it was her opinions on a certain subject when they did their first interview together. Ellen was all for Caitlyn and her fight for the rights of transgender people, so there was no friction there. Most people think that Ellen and Caitlyn disagreed on transgender rights, but that just wasn't the case at all. That is, until Caitlyn started to talk about her feelings on Ellen and her marriage with another woman. Ellen is married to Portia, who has been one of the most vocal people in terms of the rights for the community, especially when addressing marriage. Jenner said in the interview with Ellen that she was once against non-traditional marriages like Ellen's. This seems weird coming from someone like Caitlyn Jenner, but it's true. Caitlyn Jenner actually said that. Obviously, Caitlyn Jenner tried to recover her horrible answer right to Ellen's face by saying she's perfectly fine with it now, but it was too late. It seemed that Ellen's personality completely flipped and she became someone the world hasn't seen. But honestly, she might have a good reason as she was sort of defending her marriage. Ellen ended up calling Caitlyn Jenner out on it and that's when things got really awkward. After the interview, Ellen stated that she still didn't understand Jenner's position on her marriage. Furthermore, Ellen offered Caitlyn the chance to dance with her, but she wouldn't do so. Ellen said maybe she didn't want to dance with me because I'm into women, to make matters even more awkward. Jenner was apparently offended by what Ellen said about her. Jenner didn't really say anything to Ellen on her show, but after, Jenner went on to the Howard Stern show and mocked her there, so it's fair to say that they won't get back together anytime soon. But where the light comes in is that before the interview, Jenner was shown some of the interview and she went over what she wanted to talk about including her shifting stance on non-straight marriage. She stated that Ellen never asked her to dance and that she would have loved to dance if asked. Now, Jenner hasn't always been the best source of information, it's true, but added on with everything else that's being said about Ellen, you do have to wonder if she had a point and that Ellen was trying to make her look bad on her show. I remember 15 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever it was when this whole gay marriage issue came up, at first I was not for it. I mean, I thought, you no, know, it's always been a man and a woman. And uh, I'm thinking, I don't quite get it. But as time has gone on, uh, I think like a lot of people on this issue have really changed your thinking here. And it's, so- It's funny, because you're, so you're still kind of a little not on board with it. Justin Bieber. Bieber has been on The Ellen Show many times, and they seem to be pretty good friends. But that still didn't stop Justin from exposing her in one of the episodes on Ellen. Back in the day, when Justin Bieber was being rebellious and getting in all types of trouble, his inappropriate pictures got leaked on the internet. Now, if you go on Ellen, you know that she really doesn't care about celebs' feelings and kind of just asks them what the people want to know. So obviously, Ellen pulled up the pictures during the interview. Don't worry, the pictures were blurred. But anyways, she began to interrogate Justin on what was going on in the pictures and kind of was just bringing up his past. Justin obviously didn't like this because he straight up asked Ellen why she was putting him up on the spot like this. It seems that most of the celebs that expose Ellen do it because Ellen really doesn't explain before the interview what they're going to talk about. They obviously give the celebs a quick rundown, but they never give them the full details. So when Justin was asked about the pictures that were leaked, he didn't even really have an answer and was clearly upset that Ellen was talking about it. Why are you putting me on the spot like this? Gosh. I mean, you can say, why can't you say you're dating somebody? I'm not dating anyone though. She's just a friend? She's just a friend. And they don't bring me to Bora Bora. Stop, you're making me blush, dude. Mariah Carey. Mariah and Ellen have had a good friendship for many years, but there was a moment in their friendship where Ellen's humor proved to go too far. 
The big debate with comedians is, are their jokes funny, or are they actually just being mean? Mariah believes that this joke from Ellen was a little overboard, and was a bit mean, but she did handle it well, despite the fact. What happened was she went on The Ellen Show to do an interview, and Ellen brought up the rumors that were going around at the time that Mariah might be pregnant right away. Mariah says, let's not talk about that. But then, Ellen takes out two glasses of champagne and tries to force her to drink it to prove that she's not pregnant. Mariah clearly didn't want to talk about her pregnancy, but Ellen just continued pushing for it. Mariah didn't want to talk, and it might be because she was in the early stage of the pregnancy at the time, and oftentimes, females don't want to reveal it because in the first trimester, miscarriages are common. Sadly, Mariah did have a miscarriage and revealed the news later down the road. I watched the entire interview with Ellen, and it was obvious that she just wanted Mariah to talk about it so she could have clickbait. I didn't think it was very funny, but maybe some other fans did. I feel like forcing someone to drink alcohol to prove they're pregnant or not is a bit extreme. I get the joke, but probably not a good one. And then the other thing is that people are saying that uh, that you're pregnant. There, there's rumors. Don't discuss that. Um, all right. What? No, are you trying? I'm to not just... going to ask you if you're pregnant. This or is not. peer pressure. Say. You see what Ellen is doing? This is peer pressure. No. Let's toast to you not being pregnant. If you're not pregnant, then oh, we should. My Mm. <laughs> You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. Nikki Tutorials, the YouTuber, went on Ellen's show for an interview earlier this year and was quick to go on the internet and start sharing how bad her experience was like. Just like Ellen, Nikki is also a big influence on the LGBTQ community after coming out as transgender on her channel. Before her interview, she gushed online about how excited she was to go on the show because she was such a big fan of hers. But after the airing, she said that Ellen didn't even say hi to her before going on stage, and the whole experience just felt very cold and distant. She's also admitted that she didn't even have a place to go to the bathroom, claiming that the closest bathroom to her was reserved for the Jonas Brothers and that she was not allowed to use it. I feel like that's gotta be illegal or something. Where was Nikki supposed to go to the bathroom? Who was it about Ellen DeGeneres? Um... <laughs> Ik zeg dat er een groot verschil is tussen uh, de wereld draait door en Ellen. <laughs> en dan uh, geef ik jullie het positieve hart. Couldn't even use the closest toilet to me because it was reserved for the Jonas Brothers. They were allowed, but I wasn't. Susan Sarandon. She too did not agree with Ellen's speech about being friends with George W. Bush. When Ellen spoke about the controversy on her show, she said, I have friends who don't think the same things that I do. When I say to be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people who think the same way you do. I mean be kind to everyone. Susan tweeted a response and posted a quote from Oat Magazine saying, but missing the point entirely. DeGeneres framed the issues as simply a matter of her hanging out with someone with different opinions, not a man repeatedly accused of being a war criminal. Clearly, I just think that everyone's going to have their own opinion on that situation, if Ellen can pick and choose if she's friends with George Bush or if she's not. Honestly, I think that Ellen can be friends with anyone she wants, but that does hurt her arguments whenever she disagrees with President Trump and makes fun of him. Ellen clearly doesn't like President Trump. But she shouldn't make fun of him or whatever because she said that people can believe other things and she will still be kind. Seems like Ellen contradicting herself just a tad. Kevin Porter You know things are bad when a comedian offers donations online in exchange for stories about Ellen being one of the meanest people alive. His words, not mine. That is right. Kevin Porter tweeted out that he would donate to Los Angeles' regional food bank if people would share a story when Ellen was mean to them. He quickly got over 2,000 replies, with people sharing stories of her being rude. He was wanting to show everyone that Ellen is not what she appears to be, and thought if people could see all these stories at once, it would help shed some light on that. It's kind of crazy that someone would do something like this, just to put negativity on Ellen. I would assume that many of the stories were fake, or not telling the whole truth. He was exchanging $2 for every story, but then it got hard to tell which stories were real or not. So he just donated $600 and then attached the screenshot of his receipt. So he actually did donate money. However, I feel like you are going above and beyond to try and expose someone like this. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Do you think Kevin went overboard on trying to expose Ellen? Another thing that we have to think about is that Ellen is always given a script before the show and she reads off it. She isn't the one that comes up with the interview questions. She obviously knows what she is saying, but she isn't the one making the questions, so some of those celebs that are exposing her probably need to calm down a little. Yes, it's clear that Ellen might have to make some changes to keep some celebs happy, but let's all spread some positivity. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, continue to watch more of our videos that are on the screen. See you in the next video.